Happy New Year and welcome back to another episode of Mechanism Monday, where every Monday we write out the electron pushing arrow mechanisms for different organic reactions. In last week's video, I asked if you could solve the mechanism for this organic reaction. So if you haven't had a chance, pause the video now and try it independently. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll give you another mechanism to solve for next week's video. This is a fascinating reaction that contains some chemistry that you maybe have never seen before. It involves what's known as a wagner meerwein rearrangement, which is a fundamental process in nature in which we develop what are called terpenes. And what's more is it contains this group here written as OPP that maybe you're unfamiliar with. In this case, OPP stands for octoprenyl pyrophosphate. And this is actually a crucial C40 molecule involved in bacterial synthesis. The octoprenyl pyrophosphate is a chemical tag indicating a diphosphate structure essential in isoprenoid synthesis. It acts as a great leaving group in enzymes like octoprenyl pyrophosphate synthase. So as I mentioned, you can effectively think of it as a fantastic leaving group and in fact that's going to be the first step of this reaction where this alkene located at this position will come and attack this carbon to close our six-membered ring and kick off this OPP as a leaving group. So the product of that first step is going to be our new six-membered ring that can still contains the methyl group up here with the alkene attached to it and down here we've generated a brand new carbocation that is stabilized through hyperconjugation because it is attached to these three different alkyl groups. And the presence of this carbocation is gonna allow our alkene to act as a nucleophile. Well, it will actually come and attack that position, which is how we end up with this cyclic fuse ring system. But notice what it's also gonna do is leave behind a new carbocation at this carbon position. So from here, we can generate a series of alkyl shifts. And I'll draw it in two different orientations so you can see how we end up with this unique structure. So the first alkyl shift is a one, two alkyl shift and that leaves behind another carbocation, which can again subsequently undergo a brand new 1,2 alkyl shift. This leaves behind a brand new carbocation, which is gonna be a tertiary carbocation, which is probably the driving force for this reaction. And from here, a deprotonation of the terminal carbon chain will allow us to form an alkene, giving us our camphene as our final product. And camphene is a bicyclic, waxy, colorless organic compound that is a common terpene found in essential oils. If you enjoyed this week's mechanism, give it a thumbs up down below. And for next week, I'd love to see if you could figure out the electron pushing arrow mechanism for this organic reaction. Drop your thoughts as a comment down below and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out. I'll see you next week.